Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose, and today I'm gonna to share with you a couple of ideas I have for Black History Month. In Canada, we're celebrating Black History for the month of February, and I think it's so important for us to recognize where people have come from and the wrongs that have been done to them. Especially for me as an educator, I think we have an added responsibility to create a sense of unity within our classroom environments, and hopefully that trickles out into the world as well. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a child care provider for up to five children. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to child care, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. I live in a predominantly white community. And so a lot of my children don't see a lot of different ethnic groups living in our community. And I think it's so important for children to be exposed to different ethnic groups, as well as different diverse groups of people whether that's people with disabilities or a different ethnic group than we are. So the first thing I wanna do is show you a couple of books that I like for my age group, which is one to four. And the first one is called My Hair. It's just a really cute little board book about different hairstyles, super simple text. My hair is neat, my hair is wild. My hair is me in every style. I rock pigtails and bantu knots, my funky braids, my bouncy locks. Froze or twists, up or down, I play princess with braided crowns. My hair is mine, from curls to puffs, you can look but please don't touch. My hair is strong. It's full and thick. When it's too long, I go snip, snip. I flip my hair. I always slay. I love my hair in every way. So it's a super cute book, simple, but I love that it shows a diverse group of hairstyles. So this is a great little book for young learners. The next one is called My Hair is Beautiful. And it's very similar, but this one has real photographs. I'm always a big fan of real photographs. The cartoon ones are really cute, but it's always great to have real photographs in your classroom as well. And so again, it just has different hairstyles with different skin colors, with different head pieces. This is another really great book. And this one is called My Hair is Beautiful. And the last one is called Shades of People. This is a really popular book and we've had it for years. And this is also a really great book and it has real photographs of different children. And I just think it's really important that children see different skin colors. So I'd encourage you to look through your classroom and make sure that you have diverse materials in your classroom. It's always a great idea to look through your classroom and make sure that you have books, puzzles, posters, all sorts of different materials within your classroom that are diverse. One of our favorite things to do in our preschool classroom is to play with Play-Doh. So this is another way that we can easily introduce diversity in our classrooms by just having different skin toned Play-Doh. There's different ways you can do this. So what you can do is you can give each of the children a ball of Play-Doh and inject a different color into each one. And then the children can roll it and squeeze it and see what kind of color they end up with. This is a really fun activity and it's just another way to introduce different diverse colors. The other way that you can make different fun colors and also use some fun scents is you to use some food materials. So you can use spices like paprika or cumin, of course some cinnamon or some coffee or cocoa. So these are all fun ways to add color and scent to your Play-Doh. So just make yourself a batch of Play-Doh and don't put any color in it. And then you can mix in some of those scents to make different colors. 
One of the things that we love to do around here is rainbow writing and we'll rainbow write our names. And so what we do usually for this activity is we give all the children the colors of the rainbow and they practice tracing their names with all the different colors. And so we're doing the same thing this month, but instead of using rainbow colors, we're going to use different skin tones. Another really simple art activity is, I got this printable off of curriculumcorner.com and a few years ago my daughter was getting rid of this makeup palette and I thought that's a perfect activity for us to explore shades of color, especially when it comes to skin colors. And so I just give them some Q-tips and then the children can experiment with some new art mediums and also be exposed to diverse colors. Another fun one is just giving the children some cutouts. They often have these at the Dollar Tree and you can either give them some paint to paint with or some crayons or markers. So that's another fun art activity. And then the last idea I have for you, and it can be used in a lot of different ways. So depending on what kind of learning objectives you have for the month, whether it be letters, numbers, or shapes, you can really make this activity work for any one of those learning objectives. And what you do is you just make yourself a little legend. So, so for my class right now, we're learning the numbers one to five, and I just made a little legend with the different colored papers and the numbers. And then I'm giving each of the children a heart with the corresponding numbers. And so the children will take a square and they will match it to the correct spot. And then the children will see all the different diverse colors on the heart. This is a super simple, easy prep activity. So this is also great for hand-eye coordination. It also helps introduce the children to either letters, numbers, shapes, whatever you want. And it helps the children learn how to follow simple directions. I hope these activities were useful to you and that you'll find some new ideas for your classroom as well. I wanted to mention that I also did a video a couple of years ago with different ideas for your classroom. So if you're interested in checking that one out, I'll link that video down below. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.